a brimmed hat. <gasps> I do everything the most fucking awkward way, don't I? My flesh becomes new flesh. What the fuck does that mean? Raw hate of life reared from the miracle of what the death. Fuck? Oh, you fucking legend. She's just so good. <laughs> I cast fist. If this fucker goes asleep one day and kills that dog, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. Ooh. Hang on. Gorgeous. Beautiful. I don't think I'm fucking doing that. That's sexy as hell. Welcome to the team. Hey, soldier. Now that those paladins are out of your way, what's next on your agenda? First things first, I need to get this engine tuned up. Things powerful, but it's been feeling volatile ever since I left the hells. Can't be too hard to find an infernal mechanic around here, right? Your guess is as good as mine. How did you end up with such a contraption in your chest? Loaded question, maybe. The year? Ten air. The place? A sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. In Baldur's Gate? Is Our where you hero, got it? Karlak, a knock kneed delinquent from the outer city, with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. Heard the name. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. But to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. You mentioned a boss who gave you up to Zariel. Who was it? Guy named Gortash, politician, inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job, a good job, with people I liked, doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Well, we'll level you up again, and we'll... <clears throat> what does the Infernal Engine do to you? Gives me energy. Power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. Boom. I wouldn't mind that myself. Never been one for too much contact. Finally. We get an asexual line. Give me that. I'd trade you if I could. I miss it more than anything. But hey, that's life. Or so I'm told. I need to decide what it is that I'm doing. Great God, help. Do we? Oh God, I forgot about you. Um, we got a couple of options. Start looking for the Githyanki Crash. Look for Halson. Why is that there? I don't know if that fucking that thing should still be there because we. Killed Ethel, didn't we? Well, we beat her up and told her to fuck off home. Yeah, uh, we might as well. We'll swing out this way and come down. Maybe meet some of Lazelle's mates. And then... See where it, see where the life takes us. Stop burning yourselves, please. Quickly then. Oh, is this a dead end? So I shouldn't have come here at all in the first place. Oh no, the ox. What's wrong with you? The ox tenses. Horns lowered in your direction. Interpret his behavior. I don't think I've successfully done an animal handling check <laughs> at all yet. So, let's cross the L fingers. Fuck off. Fuck off. You gather nothing from his intense stare. Okay, I don't get a choice to... Do we just get to try again? Your direction. Let's back away. I don't want to. Ah! Oh, remind me. <laughs> How do I? There we go. Non-lethal. 
Great. Shadowheart, you're just so fucking cool. Guess I'm... Alrighty. Don't waste a step. <laughs> just go into a fucking barn, beat the shit out of an ox. What a way to start the day. Alright, what's going on in here? You spot a man crouching between the shelves, just as he spots you. Wait, listen! Oh, fucking here we go. <sighs> okay. He freezes, waiting on your next word. It's either or, really. I think I'll do the cooler one. Fire is in my blood. Do it. Let's see who survives. Let's do friends, fuck okay. it. No reason not to. Let's say I'd rather not fight then. What's your business? Fucking thought down so. Here? Trade? Okay. Your timing ain't the best. But I'm sure Zaris won't turn down a deal. Down you go then. Entrance is hidden behind the wardrobe. Here's the key. What the fuck am I after walking into? Wardrobe. You say wardrobe, I say... What the fuck are you talking about? What? What fucking wardrobe? Sorry, hold on, pause. Do you see a fucking wardrobe here? Uh... Again! What fucking wardrobe? Am I blind? Ah, this wardrobe. I better not get into some mad trouble down here. What the hell? That's far enough. What's your business down here? Answer honestly and maybe we'll kill you clean. Kill me? No. Your guard at the door let me in. Then your answer decides his fate as well as your own. Damn. So make it good. <laughs> I thought that was like the easy. I don't want trouble. I just want to trade. Please. Right. Minimum six, seven. Minimum seven. I need to run a three or higher. Thank fuck. Trade with what? Your life was ours the moment you walked in here. But maybe I'll let you buy it back. I have a job needs doing. We've disarmed the traps. Come down. Traps? Oh, I mean, yeah, traps. I knew. I could sense. What are we doing? We fucking rolled down some little hole and now we found some people's. <laughs> A gaff, brim. Well, don't you cut a fine figure? Want your portrait done? If you have the gold, my pet artist will make you a most heroic <sighs> likeness. Do I want a painting? You have a pet artist. Let's say we're his patrons. Yeah, found him wandering the wilds alone. He needs protection, and if his paintings cover our costs, so much the better. Eh? <laughs> protection sounds a bit more like kidnapping. Will I start a fight? Sure. Are you looking to buy him? I'm open to offers, mate. Threats? Not so much. If he's as talented as you say, someone will be looking for him. What am I talking? What? Am I, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Hold on. They have an artist, and all of a sudden I'm buying him. The hat is a new it's fucking beautiful, isn't it? These art seed saucers always have friends in high places. That's why they're valuable. But yeah. Might be we've drawn enough attention to this place. Say the money bastard. If he means that much to you. That is crap would sell anyway. Is that him? Seems like a good moment to talk. I can't say I've ever been bought before. How much did I fetch? No, don't tell me. There's nothing so depressing as learning one's true value. Sorry, pal, I accidentally bought you. I didn't at least know what you've paid for. I am the Oscar Fevras, at your service. And I am Alistair. <laughs> A genuine pleasure. I'm in your debt, as is my patron. <clears throat> my betrothed, I should say. Assuming Lady Janeth still wishes to marry me after our little, um, falling out. 
That was the most dramatic. Call a recent scandal. A patriarch of Baldur's Gate who wished to marry a commoner. Your Lady Janet's runaway groom? I did not run away. A date was never set. There were complications. Be before my fame, my patron, there was a uh, another woman. <laughs> When I plan to spend my life with Isn't that always the way? But when Lady Janeth offered me a future, well, it felt only right to mention my past. Right, but unwise. I was forced to retreat into the countryside to paint and to clear my head. To choose, I suppose. Alistair the Gossip Hound. Alistair is just very clued in. He doesn't go looking for gossip, he just... His ears are trained to the sound, let's say. And what choice did you make? Hmm? Oh, absolutely none. Um, fame and wealth suit me very well, no doubt. And yet, I think of that first love, and I hesitate. <laughs> Likely I'm going mad. Regardless, we have more immediate concerns. Your reward once I've returned to the city, for one. Say, you, I don't suppose you could spare some coin, could you? Ease the discomforts of the road some. Ugh. The hat funnel is a gossip in. Yeah, it's like a like an ear horn, like one of those old. I might give I'll give him money because I feel like this might pay off. And I'm always one to invest in the arts, you know. You know me. A hero to the hilt. Seek me out in the city. Truly. Beneath my brush, you'll live forever. Oh. Until Boulder's Gate, then. Okay. Nope. Such a kind benefactor. Oh look, I just Art is, it's so important, you know? <laughs> Especially when it gets my face on a canvas. Not many can talk their way into a Zentarim outpost. I can talk my way anywhere. Someone with your skills? Interested in a job? I'd rather know who I'd be working for first. The Zentarim. Yeah, because I don't We're have a clue. We're the finest mercenaries on the coast. We can provide you with anything. For a price. So what are you, merchants or mercenaries? If you've got coin to spend and problems to solve, the Zen will relieve you of both. But today I'm offering work, not looking for it. Okay. Some of our people are missing. More importantly, so is their cargo. Find them. Keep them alive if you can. Failing that, just bring that shipment back. Unopened. All right. <laughs> I won't start digging too much. Yeah, Good. sure. Backtrack along the road to the east and look for a wagon. Bodies, the usual. Time was, no one dared touch a caravan bearing on <clears throat> us. Find whoever did this and remind them why. Oh, is this? We literally walked past a caravan, like, with all of the, what are they called, the thingies. Oh, a dog. Can I go talk to the dog? 